Hello guys! So this is the first part of our learning JavaScript series. So in this part, we're going to talk about JavaScript. What are the things that can be done using JavaScript? How does JavaScript works? How do we display values or data in JavaScript? And additionally, I'm going to discuss an overview about event handling in JavaScript. Okay, so those are the things that we're going to talk about today. Let's start knowing what is JavaScript. JavaScript is a programming or a scripting language for the web that enables you to create dynamically updating content, control multimedia, interactive maps, animate images, photo slideshows, interactive forms, web browser-based games, data manipulation, etc. So JavaScript is one of the three languages all web developers must learn. First, we have the HTML, in which HTML is used to define the content of the web pages. Then the second one is CSS, in which CSS is used to specify the layout of the web pages. Then the third one is the JavaScript, in which JavaScript is used to program the behavior of web pages. Okay? So web pages are not the only place where JavaScript is used. Mainly desktop and server programs use JavaScript. Know that JS is the best known. Some databases like MongoDB and CouchDB also use JavaScript as their programming language. Okay. Okay, next is what can JavaScript do? JavaScript can change HTML content. JavaScript can change HTML attribute values. JavaScript can change HTML styles, the CSS part. Then JavaScript can hide and show HTML elements. JavaScript can also handle HTML events like when a page load, when a web page has finished loading, when an input field was changed, and when a button was clicked. Okay, so those are just events that can be handled by JavaScript. Okay, so how does JavaScript work? So in HTML, JavaScript code must be inserted between um, script tags. You can place any number of scripts in an HTML document. Then a script can be placed in the body or in the head section of an HTML page or in both. So we have here yung sample code natin. So, ito yung script tag. Ito naman yung sa code kung saan natin ilalagay yung mga JavaScript code natin. Okay? So, tips. Placing script at the bottom of the body element improves the display speed because script interpretation slows down the display. Okay? So, let me jump to my code para at least mas maipakita ko sa inyo kung saan ba natin ilalagay yung mga script tag pagdating sa ating HTML codes. Okay? Okay. Now, on this particular code, we have yung HTML natin. So, di, pwede natin ilagay dito. Tapos, sa loob niya, dito na natin ilalagay yung mga JavaScript codes natin. So, basically, itong ginawa ko is a sort of comment. So, yung comment pala, this is um, an executable code. So, basically, ginagamit to for documentation purposes. Okay? So, ito namang type of attribute na makikita nyo, this is just optional. Kasi by default naman, yung HTML has an scripting language of JavaScript. So, we can just delete this one. Okay? So, aside from this location of placing our JavaScript, we can also set it in the head part. Okay? So, pero mas mainam daw na mas ilagay yung mga JavaScript code natin sa bottom part ng body element. It is because it will help to speed up the page load. Okay? So, external JavaScript. Scripts can also be placed in external files. JavaScript files have the file extension of .js. 
To use an external script, put the name of the script file in the source attribute of the script tag. So ito yung sample natin. So ito yung script tag and we have here yung source attribute and ilalagay natin dito yung script file. Okay? So note, external script cannot contain script tags. Okay? So let me jump to my code para mas may pakita sa inyo kung paano ba natin sinaset up yung mga external JavaScript files. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is to create new file. Then, um, let's save this as my script.js. Save. Now, we're going to source that one through using yung script tag. So, alisin na lang natin to. Then, place natin yung source na uh, myscript.js. Yan. So, we can place here at the bottom just like other JavaScript code or we can also place it here also at the head element. But sabi ko nga kanina, mas mainam na ilagay na lang sa baba para at least makatulong sa pagpapabilis ng page loads. Pero of course guys, may mga situation na it requires you to place the JavaScript files at the head part. Okay, so if that's the case, then just place it at the head. Okay, so that's how we set up yung external files natin. Okay, so ngayon, saan naman natin ilalagay yung code? So, hindi natin ilalagay yung code dito. Okay, kagaya ng parang yung internal JavaScript. Hindi natin ilalagay dito. Instead, ilalagay natin yung code natin sa file na ginawa natin. Ganito. Okay, so we're not going to do this as well na maglalagay pa tayo ng script tag. Parang ganon. Hindi na yan kailangan. Kasi this is already... already a JavaScript file, so we can directly create our or place our JavaScript codes. Okay, guys? So, yeah. So, external references. So, external scripts can be referenced with a full URL or with a path relative to the current web page. So, pwede natin gawin to. So, we have here yung source, the full URL. So, pwede natin gawin ng pag-source katulad nito, o di kaya referencing it through the file path katulad ng ginawa natin kanina. Okay? Other other things that dito, mayro siyang folder na JS. Yung ginawa natin kanina is wala. But of course, um, the important thing, it works. So, there are cases kung paano natin itetest yung isang JavaScript files if it works or not. Or if it is accessible or not. Okay? So, let me go to my code and let me show you kung ano ba talaga yung mangyayari o oh, pag, paano natin i-test if that particular JavaScript file is already accessible on our web page. Okay? Okay, so, once okay na yung code natin pagkakasetup dito, if you want to check or to test if this is actually existing or accessible, let's try to go to our website. Okay, so gagawin natin is we can just right click and view page source. Then we can just click this one. If makita natin yung code natin dito, therefore, accessible na natin yung JavaScript files natin. Okay? That, okay? So that's how we simply check if okay na ba yung pagkakasetup sa ating mga external files. Okay? So, how do we display JavaScript data? So, JavaScript can display data in different ways. Writing into an HTML element using inner HTML. Writing into HTML output using document.write. Writing into alert box using window.alert. Or writing into the browser console using console.log. So, let's start using HTML inner HTML. So, to access an HTML element, JavaScript can use the document that get element by ID method. 
So the IT attribute defines the HTML element. The inner HTML property defines the HTML content. So we have here in sample code kung paano ba natin isa set up yung document.getElementById on setting up a value or a data on a specific element. Okay? Okay, so let's write here. So we let's create an a p tag. So lagyan natin ng id attribute of demo. Then we're going to reference that id demo using the document that get element by id and dito ilalagay natin yung id attribute which is demo ito siya then inner html html then equal sign then yung value na gusto nating i-display dito sa paragraph tag sabihin natin hello javascript and we need to end it up with a semicolon save and pumunta tayo sa file natin and refresh yan so if we're trying to view page source may kita natin na wala namang content sa paragraph pero nagkaroon siya it is because of this code okay so that's how we manage paglagay ng content sa isang element okay using document that write so for testing purposes it is convenient to use document that write so we have here yung sample code okay so let's try this one in our code okay so i'm just going to comment this one lang muna and also this one so maglalagay tayo ng document that write Then, sa loob, lalagyan natin ng, sabi natin, hello, javascript, using document, at, right, hmm, mali. Save, and let me go to the website, and let's try to refresh. Yan. So, that's how we manage yung document that right okay the next is using window.alert so using window.alert it will pop up an alert box so ito yung sample code natin or we can also use this one so both of this code are working fine naman so yung mangyayari is that it will shows up an alert box okay so let's try this codes on our html codes so para ma Laman natin kung ano ba yung nangyayari. Okay, so let me try to comment this one. Then window that alert. Then yung content niya. Go. JavaScript. Save. And refresh tayo. Yan. So, yan yung window that alert. What about naman yung kung, kung alert lang yung gagamitin natin. Save. And refresh yan. so same um, output naman so it shows up yung alert box natin okay okay so using console.log so for debugging purposes you can use the console.log method to display data so ito yung sample code sa pag manipulate ng console.log so let's try that one Okay, so let me try to comment this one. And ilagay natin console.log. Then, low JavaScript. Save. Ito, refresh. So basically, hindi natin makikita siya dito. Kasi yung console.log, yung data niya will output on the browser console. So paano natin gagawin yun? We can just click, right click. Then, inspect. Then, we have here yung console. Then, dito natin makikita yung JavaScript. So, let's try to rename. Say, JavaScript on browser console. Sabihin natin ganun. Then, refresh natin. 
Okay, yun. So, that's how we manage yung console.log pagdating sa JavaScript. So, mainam to if you're going to debug your code. Okay? So, there are, those are the four ways on managing the output in terms of JavaScript. So, ngayon, yung gagawin naman natin is that we're going to make um, four buttons. So, those four buttons gagamitin natin para mag-display ng specific output based on the specific method on displaying the data. So, let's create some out button. So, let's say, let's have a label of using inner HTML. Then, gawa pa ako ng tatlo. Okay, so, ito naman, nalagyan ko ng pangalan ng using document that right. Then, yung sa using sabihin natin window that alert alert. Yan, then, the last one is using the console that log. Okay. So, now, let's try to check it out. Kung ano yung magiging output niya. So, ganito. So, ito yung magiging objective natin. Once I click this button, the inner HTML, it will display the output here. Now, once I click the document that right, it will try to execute yung code for the document that right. Then, one, once I try to click this one, it will execute the code of window.alert or yung alert wherein it will pop up an alert message. Then, we also have yung console.log na once we click, it will display an output on our browser console. Okay? So now, yung gagawin natin, paano ba natin makukontrol or malalaman na we already click on this button or which button it is? So, that's how we manage yung sinasabing event or HTML event. Wherein, we manage na yung once maklik natin yung mga button. So, merong sinasabing onclick na attribute. So, this is the one that manage onclick event. Then, yung value niya will be the function name or JavaScript function. Sabihin natin um sing do inner html so since it is a function meron tayong open close parenthesis so let me try to copy this code here so ito naman sabihin natin doc write okay then isa is na to win alert then yung isa is the console log. Console log. Okay? So, these are the function na kung saan gagawin natin sa part ng JavaScript. So, function. By the way, um, yung um, JavaScript events at saka yung JavaScript function, magkakaroon tayo yan ng separate video um, so, if you're interested of knowing more about those things, then you can check it out, okay? So, this first one is we're going to put this one. Then, let's copy this one. And the second is, ito naman. Let me cut and paste it here. So, the next is, you in alert, which manage you alert box then yung isa is yung console the console log cut natin to and paste it here save then ito naman kailangan kong ilagay it is because we are using the document.getElementById ok so every time I if I click this button, it will call this one and execute this code. If I call this, click this one, it will call this function and execute this code. Then for the win alert, once I click this one, call the method, 
execute same thing with the console dot okay so let's try to rename this one how to have other output using let's try to update the output this one let's try to put parentheses ito naman lagyan natin using so nothing win alert window alert dito i window na rin natin para uniform then dito of course yung console.log okay save then let's try to refresh so if i click this one it should output it here na natin yan using html Ngayon, what if we click the document that's right hmm. so basically it wipe out all the html output so that's the basic um functionality of document that right wherein once the page is already loaded okay then if you execute the document that right it will try to wipe out the content and overwrite the content or uh, overwrite it with the content that you had set okay kaya ganon yung nangyari okay so now let's try to click on this one so it shows the pop-up or the alert box then ito namang console we need to go to the console browser and click this one yeah okay so that's how we manage yung event pagdating sa javascript so it's just one of the event ng javascript which is the on click event so there are a lot of event na meron yung javascript okay so if you're totally interested of knowing those things you can just watch the other videos that we're going to have that focus on learning about javascript events okay Okay, so I think that's it. So I hope you learned something new today, guys. So basically, napag-aralan natin kung ano ba yung sinasabing JavaScript. Um, what are those things that can be done using JavaScript? How does it work? Um, how do we display some data in using JavaScript? And also, an overview for the JavaScript events and also yung functions. Okay? So... I think that's it. Um, just like I always say, guys, just keep practicing and never stop learning. Okay, let's call today. Thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye for now.